Good morning, this is G-Man, and today I want to talk to you about graphics lag in Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2 for the PC. Um, okay, so a lot of people have problems with graphics lag, and it's usually down to their hardware not being good enough to, you know, not being fast enough, should I say, to keep up with what the game wants. Um, but if you are using an NVIDIA card and you're experiencing lag, um, I may have a solution for you. Um, it, this problem is... Um, uh, it's kind of intermittent. It happens when... Um, you know, it could happen at any time, really. Uh, it doesn't have to be something that's putting stress on your hardware, like, I don't know, running around doing 720s on a state or something like that. Um, it can happen at any time. You know, you could be on a smaller map, um, just sat in a corner somewhere, and it could freeze for a couple seconds. You know, your computer will lock up, and then it'll unfreeze um, a couple seconds later, leaving you to, I don't know, die or whatever. Um, this will not solve the problem that a lot of people have using Windows 7 and uh, Modern Warfare 2, where um, it will freeze for two to three minutes when you open up the game. I still get that problem, and I cannot seem to fix it. If anyone knows a solution, uh, please post a comment or a video response or something. Um, but okay, let's get down to it. Um, this will only work for NVIDIA cards. Uh, I think I said that. I can't remember. Um, but yeah, I've been told this uh, this particular service that I'm about to close down um, causes problems in a lot of games. Uh, I haven't experienced it before, before Modern Warfare 2, so I don't know if it helps you. This is... Uh, yeah, that's good. <laughs> um, okay, so let's get down to it. Um, first of all, if you're not sure if you have an NVIDIA card um, or an ATI card or whatever, uh, I'm impressed that you're being able to play this game. Um, but yeah, okay, there are a couple ways to check. First and easiest way is to just right click. And you should see up here, if you have an NVIDIA card, it will say the NVIDIA control panel. Um, this is, of course, if you have your drivers installed properly and everything. If you've bought your computer, um, you know, ready-made from anywhere, it will most likely have these installed. Um, and once you've seen that, you know you've got an NVIDIA card. I'm not quite sure what it is for ATI cards. Um, something along the lines of ATI control panel, maybe. I don't know. Um, but yeah, you can either do that, or you can do it the longer-winded way. I don't really know why you'd want to do this. Um, where you go to your control panel yeah, and go to hardware and sound and go to your device manager uh, here we go uh, you want to look for display drivers which is here um, under this little triangle thingy uh, and you should see the name of your graphics card there in my case NVIDIA blah 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 um, if you have an ATI it'll say ATI blah 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 um, and if you have integrated graphics, it may not be under display drivers, it may be somewhere along with your motherboard, wherever that is. Um, but yeah, you don't have to change anything in here, you just cross that down. Um, okay, so now you know you've got an a, uh, bleh, a NVIDIA card, uh, you can get to work with this. Um, now this does work, and this will work exactly the same in Vista. Um, but it may be different in XP. Uh, I think the service still exists, you just need to find it differently. Um, I could run this in XP mode, but uh, figure it out yourself. I don't know, Google it or something. Um, okay, so what you want to do is open up your start menu and type in services. You want to go to this top option here with the little cogs and that should open up. Um, and then what you want to do is scroll down to the ends. Ends, here we go. And go to NVIDIA Display Driver Service. Now usually this will be set to started and automatic. Um, okay, so what you want to do is right click this bad boy and go properties. Okay, now you want to go to the general tab and this will be set to automatic and it will be started. Um, like this. Okay, so you've got a couple options you can change it to. You can change it to automatic with delayed start, which means it, um, 
it starts up later after your PC's booted up to save you a couple seconds on startup time. Um, automatic, which it's on now. Um, manual or disabled. Now, I cannot recommend uh, fully disabling it um, because you know in you might well need it. Um, if you use multi monitors, like a dual monitor set, Ooh, my phone's good. Um, if you use dual monitors, um, turning off this service will disrupt some of your functionality. Um, there's nothing major. Uh, I run a dual monitor setup usually, and um, it's just not smooth, um, which is why I recommend setting it to manual. Um, if you don't use dual monitors or whatever, you may well go ahead and disable it fully, but I think manual is the best option because you can just start and stop it here. Um, and Okay, so you set it to manual and then you go stop. Now, if you do want to start it up again, you just have to do this process, uh, but click start. Um, if you're using dual monitors, uh, click start before you mess about with resolutions, um, SLI settings or whatever, because um, it'll just help out a little bit. That's what the service does really, um, display driver service. It's, uh, it just keeps everything running smooth, I guess, but usually people can turn it off without consequence. Okay, so I don't even know if you need to click apply. Let's do it anyway. And then okay, and that is it. You should say, uh, well, nothing in the status column. Um, and then manual. Okay, so click that bad boy off and you are ready to go. Um, right, okay, I'm not gonna say that this will solve all lag problems because it just won't. Um, we're talking specifically game graphics lag. Um, so, you know, something to do with your computer, it's not your connection. Um, with it freezing up every couple seconds. Um, now, the reason I knew that this was the problem um, was because uh, my PC can run the game at sort of plus 90 FPS 90% uh, of the time. Um, so I knew it could run it fine, sort of without a hitch. Um, but when it uh, when in the frame rate started dropping to zero, um, I was monitoring it using fraps. Um, when it drops to zero for, you know, I don't know, five seconds or something, and then unfreezes at random times, um, I knew there was something wrong. Uh, and I did a bit of internet digging and found this on a forum. I apologize, I cannot remember who suggested it, um, or I would credit you right now. But I think, yeah, I'm just going to uh, take the credit on this one. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, let me know how it goes. Uh, if it does help, post a video response, comment, whatever. Um, yeah, hopefully that helps. I think that is all I have to say. Yeah, cool. Um, enjoy. See you later.